Hi everyone, this is Andre at Simwell. In Arena version 15, a few changes were made in the user interface in terms of displaying the entity attributes. Let's take a look. Okay, so we have a very simple model here, just a create module with an assign and a hold. So we create people and give them values to different attributes here. So if we run this and then pause, then we can double click on any entity in the queue. And first thing you might notice is that the user defined attributes are no longer within the standard attribute section. They're below. So it's, it's a little quicker to go and find them. You don't have to go into these. And then the attributes are now in alphabetical order. And the user defined attributes also are uh, sorted in alphabetical order so you can find the specific attribute in the list much uh, more quickly if, especially if you have a very large number of attributes so a little tip i want to show you at the same time here is that you you may not know that but when you're in debugging mode anytime you're paused you can actually change values of variables or attributes anytime so if I want to change the height of this person to 60 inches, I can just do it. So this will might impact the next events. So uh, if ever I have logic following this, this location here, and I want to test what happens if this person has this height, I can change it and then keep running. Um, if you go to View and Debug Bar, you can always see the active entity at any time. If we step, we see the active entity, entity number 14 here. And the attributes display is the same I just showed you here. So it's improved the same way as when you double click on the entity picture. You have the user defined alphabetical and you can change a value if you want. Thank you for watching. Simwell is an Arena Premier partner. We provide consulting, training, coaching, and support. And remember, if you simulate, Simwell.